when they talk about crime, because I'm a big anti-gun person in terms of, you know, shoot, you know, mass shootings, et cetera, and these AR-15s, even though I said the other day that if there was a loose criminal in the neighborhood like there was a couple of weeks ago, I would like to have a handgun. Looking at the debate of yesterday, the GOP debate, looking at the views from X, which is the former tutor, let's see their different point of view about the debate. So I'm not 100% against guns, but they are so pro NRA, this entire group of, of this clown car that was up there last night. And at the same time that they want to increase gun ownership and reduce crime, they, they don't understand the connection between crime and the guns. So if you have criminals who are mentally ill, a lot of them have guns. Okay, have a gun. Here's another gun. Walk around the street with a debate. I mean, it felt like people all vying for second place or cabinet positions. I'll say Nikki Haley, I think, was once again the winner of the debate in terms of policy and substance. But it's hard to even break through when you're arguing with crazy. I mean, Vivek Ramaswamy just takes it and will just bulldoze you. Here's the reality, though, is if you combine the average polling of all seven candidates on that stage, they still trail Donald Trump by about 20 points. So there's a big gap they have to make up if they think anyone can overtake him. But to offer some hope, there's a CBS YouGov poll that shows that in both Iowa and New Hampshire, yep, about 79 percent of, uh, of v Republican voters are open to considering someone other than Trump. But what do you do to break through to them? You can't just be like, I'm going to roll out the fanciest policy paper. I'm going to have the strongest take on immigration. You have to take Donald Trump on. Mm. This past week alone, he came out, he, he said that my former boss, outgoing chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Mark Milley, should be executed. The most senior military official in the country, a four-star general who served this country in uniform, should be executed purely because he politically doesn't like him. How was that not brought up? This is your chief rival. Or the fact that the New York AG came out and said he's basically a con man and a fraud. So it feels like a kind of a repeat of 2016 where everyone's not coalescing and they just are like, maybe something magical is going to happen and we'll overtake him. But it's just not reality. Okay. And final I, thing I'll say, yeah. Nikki Haley beats Joe Biden and head-to-head, -head, Donald Trump does not. Why did she not make that case last You don't night? know that. All in all, they all do have different opinion, different ideology, generally about talking about gun, talking about various things about on the debate. So, um, personally, what do you think? What do you, um, what is your own suggestion? Are you in acceptance of all what they are saying? concerning the debate, their point of view. Do you buy all the point of view even concerning the debate? Or do you think there should be a change? What do you think? Can I know your, about your own point of view in the comment section? Very much if you are not subscribed, do not forget to subscribe and help share the video. Thank you very much. God bless you.